Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and the LA Clippers make another trade in this trade deadline. We've seen them trade for Bones Highland, they gave up two second round picks for Bones Highland, see them get involved in that three team trade with my Houston Rockets and the Memphis Grizzlies, gave up Luke Kennard for Eric Gordon, and now we see them get a big man, which I think another big man is something the Clippers desperately needed. Um, and I like it for the Clippers. Um, you're adding in. You're adding in, you know, Mason Pumley, who's that's the trade. So Mason Pumley is heading to LA for Reggie Jackson. I like this trade for the Clippers. Reggie Jackson was someone who they needed to get rid of. Also, Reggie Jackson has a bigger salary, so you can learn some cap space. Also, you know, Pumley was a position you needed. And uh, now Reggie Jackson is expected to be bought out by the Charlotte Hornets. And it's just going to be interesting to see how Pumley fits into that Clippers, um, you know, for their second unit. Um, because they definitely need a backup center. Robert Covington was not doing it. But you guys, I mean, you just, you guys let me know what you guys think about this trade. I mean, I think it's a good trade for the Clippers. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what the Clippers do in the buyout market. They have a roster spot open, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I personally think the Clippers should sign Russell Westbrook if he's bought out. I know it's crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I just think he fits better with the, you know, people talk about, I think he fits better with this Clippers team. More shooters are around him uh, than there was in L.A., and I think it's just a better spot for him. Uh, play, he'd reunite with some former teammates, reunite with Paul George, his great, a good friend of his. Paul George has expressed his feelings of, you know, how he, if Russell Westbrook would be bought out, that he would potentially want Russell Westbrook to join the, join the, um, join the uh, Clippers. He also played with Eric Gordon in, in Houston for a year. Um, I know he's not going to be getting more, a lot of minutes after the trade, but he also played with Robert Covington in Houston for a half a season. I'm trying to think about some other guys he might've played with. I believe there might be a couple more. There's a couple players on this, uh, on this Clippers roster that he's played with, um, over his last, I mean, wash, I don't think there's anybody from Washington there. Might be a couple, I, th I think there's, I think Marcus Morris might've played with him as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or was that Markeith Morris? I, I don't know. The Morris twins are so confusing. Um, I think that he's played with at least three to five players on definitely three, but maybe two more are missing. Batum, maybe no, not Batum. He went straight from Charlotte to LA. So there are a couple players that he's played with at least three to four on this team. So I think Russell Westbrook would actually be a good fit because there's more shooters around him, more catch and shoot guys. Morris, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Eric Gordon now, um, Nicholas Batum, um, just the amount of Robert Covington, the amount of catch and shoot guys on this Clippers team. I think Russell Westbrook would bring a, a very nice role for that. But I, I think the Clippers should sign Russell Westbrook, and I love the Mason Plumlee move. They needed a backup center bad. Their backup center right now is Robert Covington, and I like Robert Covington. He was a Rocket. He was there. He was a Rocket starting center when we went small ball in 1920. And I, I as from a coming from a Rockets. Fan coming to a Clippers fan, I can tell you that did not work for us. I mean, Covington played great with us, but as defensive-wise, it did not work. So adding in Mason Plumlee will be a great move for the Clippers to add in another big man because Zubak can't play a whole game, and uh, Covington is not a backup center. It will be interesting to see if Covington still has minutes in that rotation, but we'll really see, and that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me your thoughts on the trade, and peace out.